Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I styled and customized my wig. This is the unit that I'll be wearing today. It is a short bob unit from All Love Hair Company. And I'm going to be getting rid of these combs. It came with two on the side and one in the back. They irritate my scalp so bad, so I'm going to take them out. And I don't want to risk damaging my unit, so I'm going to use a seam ripper instead of scissors to remove the thread um, that's holding the combs down. And here you see I'm just ripping the thread out um, until it loosens up to where I can pull the comb off. Now that the third comb is off, I'm going to move to attaching this elastic wig band to make sure my wig stays down. And I'm going to be attaching the wig band from ear to ear. I will be using a hair needle and thread to attach the elastic band. I'm going to double up on the elastic band. I'm so self-conscious when I'm wearing this wig. I want to make sure it stays in place. So I'm going to fold it in half and then begin attaching it from ear to ear to where I get it to where um, I think it will fit comfortably. Next, I'm going to adjust the elastic band that came with the unit. Having the two elastic bands is a great alternative to sticking those uncomfortable cones in my hair. And it really makes me feel a lot more confident that the unit is secure. Next, I'm going to try the unit on to make sure the band isn't too tight or too loose. And once I confirm that, I will move on to styling the unit. All right, I think those elastic bands are doing their job very well because the sides are not lifting and the unit um, fits very comfortably. So I'm going to move on to curling the hair. First, I'm going to apply some shine mist before curling the hair um, to add a little bit of sheen. Then I'm going to start curling the hair with a flat iron to create some soft beach waves. And these curls are looking so good right now. It makes me eager to try this unit on. But of course, before doing that, I have to prep my hair. I'm going to leave my baby hairs out. So I'm just going to brush them down. And here is my braid pattern. And the middle part I have will match up um, with the part on the unit. I did not cut any baby hairs on this unit. I'm going for a more natural look, so I'll be using my own edges to help conceal the lace. And my edge control of choice will be Murray's Edge Wax. Now I'm going to let my hair set for about 20 minutes and then I will be back to wrap things up. 
now that my hair is dry i'm going to take off the edge scarf next i'll grab my concealer and dab a little bit along my part to make it match up more with my skin tone Then I'm going to hit my sideburns with the flat iron one time to straighten them out a bit. And to make sure the lace is not showing, I'm going to tease my edges so that they cover that lace. And then I'll grab my wide tooth comb and brush out the curls to create some waves. And here is the final look. I am done customizing and styling this wig. You know, there is a world of difference in how it fits now versus how it fit before. The unit feels so much more comfortable without those combs tugging at my hair. Um, shout out to my lovely subscriber, Healthy Gemini, who suggested I remove the combs and attach the band. Girl, you are a lifesaver for real. I have worn this wig every day since I made those adjustments, so I really appreciate that tip. Um, I really had so much fun and I learned a lot from making this video and I hope you all found it to be helpful. Uh, I will leave more information about this unit down below as well as my discount code that can be used on all of's website when purchasing this unit. I really appreciate y'all and I will see you next time. Bye.